Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about annotated parse tree. In our previous classes, we discussed about synthesized and inherited attributes. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. The concept of annotated parse tree is very, very simple to understand. So before going into the concept of annotated parse tree, let's have a deeper understanding of the concept of synthesized and inherited attributes, which we discussed previously. You know, so let's take an example. This is the example grammar, which we are taking T tends to F T dash t dash tends to star f t dash t1 dash for the differentiation we are using t1 dash so t dash tends to epsilon f tends to digit this is a simple cfg that is going to take uh, simple expressions uh, based on multiplication for this cfg they have given some semantic conditions uh, so let's try to understand what's these conditions are uh, t dash tends to for this first production they have given two conditions uh, so the point you have to understand t dash dot inherited is equal to f dot value whether it is inherited attribute or a synthesized attribute let's try to understand t dash is using f dot value means its sibling value so this is an inherited attribute t dot value is equal to t dash dot sin this is a synthesized attribute because t dot value parent is going to use the value from its child so it is synthesized attribute t dot value is a synthesized attribute so here and one more thing you have to understand for t dash we are having two attributes inh is one attribute syn is another attribute you can give any number of attributes according to your requirement so similarly they have given the remaining conditions for uh, the cfg you try to elaborate whether it is synthesized or inherited attribute based on the condition and one more point you um, the uh, uh, reason why we have chosen this example in our last class when we discussed about synthesized and inherited attributes synthesized attributes parent is going to take its values from its child or itself in order to make you understand that point t dash tends to epsilon is having two uh, t dash dot sin is equal to t dash dot inh means here it is going to take values from t dash dot sin t dash dot inh so it, for t dash we are having two variables it is going to take value from itself so that's why that's why this is a synthesized attribute it is going to take a parent is going to take values from itself or a from child that is the point you can understand you, you check the remaining values whether it is inherited or a synthesized for practice purpose so now coming to the annotated parse tree let's take this example uh, for this example if you want to elaborate this 3 multiplied by 5 if you want to do that uh, whenever the context free grammar is executing uh, semantic conditions will also execute uh, if you show your parse tree in this way we call it as annotated parse tree what's difference when compared to the previous examples here the values are mentioned uh, the values that representing this uh, conditions uh, those values are represented if it is represented like this uh, we call it as annotated parse tree so how these values are evaluated in which sequence it is going to evaluate that we are going to show using dependency graph so in our next class we are going to uh, discuss about dependency graph using dependency graph we will understand the how the values are evaluated in which sequence it is going to evaluate that the point you will understand using dependency graph so here t tends to f t dash f is going to evaluate f is elaborated with digit digit dot lex value is equal to the first one has been encountered so lex value is equal to 3 value at this point means this 3 is given to f dot value so first it is going to evaluate after that it is going to give to this then it start like this in which way it is going to evaluate that we will understand in our next class see and one more point t tends to f t dash in this production t tends to f t dash t dash is having two variables that's why we are showing two variables here t dash dot inherited is equal to value is equal to 3 t dash dot sin is equal to 15 how we got that we will understand next class dependency graph so this is elaborated as star f t dash f dash is evaluated with 5 
So T dash is going to evaluate with the epsilon. This is how if you show like this, this is what we call it as an annotated path string. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.